we see a change in trend in the S&P from the strong uptrend that's been happening for since October to a sideways period for the next two weeks until the late part of February. Today's February 14th, and the market made the high as expected on the 12th, had a very sharp reversal on Monday, and a huge down day on Tuesday, indicating something potentially is changing. However, I have said, and I continue to say, not to short this market. The market has and will continue to be resilient. The low that came in on Tuesday is probably going to hold. We expect to see a high on February 22nd or 23rd, and the market generally trending higher until next week and retesting the high that it just made. So the sideways action is likely to be a correction of an ABC type, where the A wave has just been the sharp down move, and the B wave will be kind of a gradual upward biased move, recouping most or all of the decline that happened over the last few days. And then the C wave, which should start on the 22nd or 23rd, should be also fairly sharp edged and hard down for a few days until the late part of February, possibly March 1st. Okay, so we're looking at a ABC correction until March 1st. After March 1st, another rally. And that rally should take us to new highs and should end around the middle of March, the 14th or 15th of March. After the high, after the high March 14th or 15th, we expect to see another decline coming back down into the range that we just came out of to a low point in April. And then we will still have one more rally that should start in April and go up into potentially into May. That's a slight deviation from what we had said before. But the point is the market is going to go higher and it is likely to go up until possibly as late as May 23rd, which is later than the April high, which we had talked about in several different videos. That's not that far-fetched. That very well may be. The cycle structure right now is very similar to that. So a high of 5,400, a correction to 4,700 by July. That's as much as we're going to get. I don't think we're going to see anything lower than 4,700 anytime this year. Okay, so that's the, that's the main point. And also the trend is going to continue to rally significantly higher between now and late May. Okay, also you can look at the price levels that it did hit and it did about a 50% correction of the rally from January 17th in the most recent break the last few days. And we're likely to see a 61% correction, possibly by the end of February, which would take us down another 100 S&P points to the 4850 area. We're in a correction phase where it's possible that even the new high is just a B wave. And the reason for the decline in, in July, the decline in, uh, from May to July being large, is that it's an irregular type um, correction, which would have a large C wave. And the, finally, that C wave would reach the 4,700 uh, level, which would be the expected correction. We would expect to see that now, but it's not likely to happen until we have a couple of new highs along the way. So I wouldn't short this market. I'd be buying it down in the 4,900 area. On our uh, long-term matrix on the S&P, we have broken above the uh, 4,908 level we mentioned several times. Which, by the way, that uh, channel is now at uh, 49.13 or 14. As long as we stay above 49.14 on the cash, we're still in a very bullish uh, position. And we're expecting to see the next level up, as you can see in this chart, is 5,400 plus. Uh, and we don't, that, the matrix doesn't say exactly when that will happen, but we're anticipating it would be by the end of May. So in terms of the short-term stuff, the short-term cycles, we found 199 trading hour cycle, and we also have a 400 trading hour cycle, and also a 1,368 hour cycle. And what you look for is agreement of these cycles, and they all go up for the next week. Not much, but they go up together. So we're, we're assuming that this low on Tuesday is going to hold, market will rally for about a week, and then uh, we'll see some more correcting. Okay, we want to remind everybody on Saturday, the 17th of February, we're going to be offering two different courses. The first one is our primary 
which is our Trade Forecast Mastery Masterclass. And it's a three-month program that you can sign up for and take starting this Saturday. And then in the afternoon, on about noon on Saturday Central Time, we're going to be doing a, a class on how to use the matrix channel, how to use the matrix channel indicator. And um, it's a fairly rich, very um, professional indicator, and it requires a little bit of uh, education to give you the full capacity to use it to make the most money. And so we'll go through it. So it's going to be probably an hour presentation describing the variety of different entries and exits and different ways of getting in and out of the market, a strong uh, buy signal, a weak buy signal, be able to tell the difference between a good trade and a bad trade. And also t these lines and these matrix, uh, uh, these matrix channel lines are extremely accurate and they give you an edge that even the professionals um, it's the type of edge that even the professionals have. I also want to tell you, <laughs> it's always true, <laughs> no matter what I say, that I can be wrong, okay? So I want you to have some risk management strategy in place to protect your money because the markets will give you profits oftentimes beyond what you expect as long as you don't let it take too much away from you when you lose.